for people who are unaware of why F13, the servers got shut down last year. Um, can you kind of elaborate more on like what, if you can, I know there's legal ramifications to it, maybe not be able to say, but just talk about like what exactly happened for someone who's confused or a really hardcore fan that was like, what happened to that game? Why did it get shut down? It was, it had to have been, from what I've read rumors and what I've seen a lot, it's content issues with Jason it's himself, right? The character, the IP. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I would probably ask Gun Media that because they were the publisher and they made those decisions and, you know, we weren't like, like while I remain in contact with them, like we weren't really, you know, they made the decisions they made and, and that was their call really. We were just the You're just along for the ride. on the project. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what you so. said earlier. Like sometimes we just have to be like, <laughs> it's not our call. We just sit there and they tell us what happens and we're like, okay, that's exactly. the price for working with intellectual property, other people's intellectual property or public. Exactly. And, and like, you know, I don't know all that. Like I know that the lawsuit stuff is probably a giant mess, but it, it never, you know, as a developer, it never really affected us because we were we set out to what to do what we needed to do, and then they, you know, they made the calls best for their business uh, based around information they had. So, yeah. And then my last question is, what does your studio learn from F13 and uh, and uh, Predator uh, Hunting Grounds that you've applied to Arcade Armageddon? Like, uh, talk a little bit about that. Oh, I think I mean, really, for me at least, it's each trying to make each game better. Um, you know, like I think F13 was launched. It was a small team we had and, and there was, you know, bugs and then Predator was better, you know, right? Like we just were a little bit like, yeah, there were still issues here or there or whatever, but for the most part it was, you know, just that next step. And I think Arcade is kind of the same thing. I mean, that's, you know, it's it's like the next step in evolution of us as a as a studio. I mean, it's important to us to make you know, quality products and the best we can. And, you know, sometimes you put out games and, and it's when it gets into the masses hands and there's hundreds of thousands of people playing those games, like it, it, you know, things can break down that we just never would foresee. And so it's just every project builds on the next. It's like, we've, you know, learned since Friday the 13th, how to really test and, st and stress test our servers. And that was important for me as a CEO of the company, it's like, cool, we need to put more money into like testing and stress testing. Like we have, you know, a full QA staff internally, which we uh, didn't in the beginning with F13 and we had a smaller one internally, but we had one on Predator and now it's a lot bigger. Like there's actually a, I'm in the office today and there's, you know, three people that were picking up their computers and getting onboarded today in QA. So it's like, we're, you know, we know like, well, let's throw more testing at it and, and just, Let's try to make a better and better product, but also learn what the community liked and didn't like, you know? And I think like Jared, you could probably talk to that more from the design perspective in a way. So, yeah, I mean, it's all about evolution, right? So like, you know, Predator, for example, we made a, we made a very hardcore game. We made a game that was like, if you played it in the right scenario, it was a fun game. But if you played it and someone was a fresh Predator, and they're like, oh, I'm the predator. I'm a big monster. I'm gonna jump in the middle of these dudes. And then those dudes kill him. It's like, what? I should be invincible. Like, why? Blah, blah. And then it's like, well, okay, we need to figure these things out for next games. We need to, like, it's all about remembering what we've done, not only what other people have done, but what we did. And so like, you know, if we ever make an asymmetrical game, we'll figure out those formulas of going like, okay, bad, bad single monster uh needs to figure out these elements to make sure that the game doesn't end in two minutes you know and and so like those are all those were things um the you know with with arcade it's it's about easy pickup um you know it's it's about like you know you know how to play if if you know how to play most games it's it's kind of shocking how many people are like oh i've never played a game like this before it's like well what, what do you mean you've never played a third person game so it's like it's evolving those simple, easy to pick up, hard to master type of elements, but also making it so if someone is just truly nowhere clear, near mastering, they still have a fun experience. And so, you know, that was the big thing about arcade with like the level increase. So if you're just not a great gamer and, and you don't have a crew to play with, you could still play the game for five, 10, 15, 30 minutes, just by, by just trying to get better um, versus like we, you know, I feel like with Predator, it was such a hardcore game. You know, we, we were like, 
if someone hasn't played, you know, the shit out of COD or Battlefield and they're playing Predator, they might be in trouble. If someone hasn't played this type of game, they might be in trouble. But it was kind of one of those things where it's like, well, we don't have the time and 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 budget to make, you know, this single player game or this this uh, you know, this way to, you know, allow people to gradually get into the game. We had to throw them kind of feet first in the jungle essentially. And you know, there's there were a lot of people that came in because they were fans of Predator that just didn't play multiplayer games. But I've 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 had people hit us up saying like, never played a multiplayer game before. I played it because of Predator. Now I play multiplayer games. And that's kind of a cool thing to to hear. Um, but it's definitely one of those things, the biggest learning experience I feel with with us is like you know our 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 you know our roadmap or our our evolution as a studio it was you know 30 some odd people 60 some odd people now we're growing more and more and with that growth is you know the big thing is going to be quality and focus on 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 that 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 polish that gameplay versus just keep on throwing you know everything in the kitchen sink and like we we felt like arcade was one of those great games where we could have added a lot more stuff and just kind of you know, tried to do all of these elements, but now we're going to just gradually add those pieces in to make sure that the game is fully baked and, you know, the best experience that someone can have. And, and you know, I think that that's, that's the big thing is just we need to learn from our mistakes. We need to write those down. We need to look at them every day, essentially, and just go, okay, next game, next game better. If we can do it in that game in live, then we'll absolutely do it in live. But it is about, like, you know, uh, allowing allowing the very huge fan base or game base that's growing every single day to allow those those more casual players to play our games versus like nope we expect you to have had you know multiple shooter games under your belt and you know now now you should be able to play this game so it is going to be about a, about player growth with us